morning. Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Go Live, it's episode 42, I'm Maddie. Hello, I'm Greg, and all together now, we, we are, are live. live! You can join us weekdays here in our spare room studio, this week we're calling it our Imagineering Workshop, um, at 11am. Yeah, you sure can. Uh, this week we are thinking like designers and storytellers and engineers and we're designing a theme park with four lands and lots of awesome rides to go in it. Yeah, these shows are going to be packed with fun, facts, quizzes, but we're also going to be designing spectacular rides. We're making our own versions at home and of course we're thinking about how these rides work. Each day we're introducing you to one of our four lands. Uh, we'd love you though to come up with your own. So uh, it doesn't matter if you've been to a theme park or not before. Um, we're going to use your imagination. We're going to use your maker skills. We're going to use your science know-how yeah. uh, to come up with your own dream theme park. Hello if you're watching live and you're with us right now, but if you're watching later, thank you so much for joining us. Maybe you've been to school, hope you had a great day. What were you learning? Um, right, who's in the live chat? All right, we've got uh, Annabelle from Milton Keynes. Hi. We've got, who else do we have? We have Carla from Gran Canaria. Hello. Uh, Hayden in Armitage. Uh, Zaki in Huddersfield. Bailey in Derby. Uh, Toby in the New Forest. Uh, Dana from Cleveland. Ed and Tom in Bracknell. Ollie in Warrington. Chloe in Rotherham. Hi. Uh, Emily in Bingley. Finlow in Liverpool. Uh, we've got Yaya in Saudi. Uh, Adam in Hemel Hempstead. And Olivia and Jacob in Peterborough. Oh, thank hello, you so hello, much, hello. everyone. Hello. Oh, right. Yesterday, we introduced you to our theme park, which we are calling Discovery, Discovery World. World. Yes. yes. And we set sail to the island of Pacifica. Mm, the first of our themed lands. Pacifica is an island in the Pacific, occupied by marine biologists, deep sea divers, but it's secretly haunted by pirate ghosts. Yeah, it has a rapids adventure and a haunted submarine experience with ghostly pirates. And we even showed you how to make your own river ride mm -hmm. and ghost scope. Actually, I think we have a lot of future Imagineers watching the show. Uh, so many of you have started designing your theme parks and you had a go at making your own river rapids oh, and ghost scopes. So we wanted to show you just a couple right at the top. Um, why don't we meet Emily and Matthew first? Uh, they made their own Forbidden Forest of Fear rapid ride. Mm. And they made it out of foil, but they, used to, they also put Lego mini dolls in their boats and set them uh, for a ride. This is Lucy. Uh, Lucy's made two lands for her theme park, a magical wonders land and a future zone. Oh, cool. Daniel uh, made a dino splash ride. It has water rapids with a tunnel, splash drop and lots of dinosaurs. <laughs> this is Orla who created this yummy lunch, nice one Orla, uh, for marine biologist explorers at Pacifica. It is a sausage roll boat rowing with carrot stroke olive oars through cucumber surf to the tomato island. That is yes. exactly the type of food I would expect to eat at Pacifica. Love that. Andrew made this Lego space base theme park, very, very uh, accurate for today's episode, well uh, with a monorail, space shuttle, lunar rover and satellite exhibits. You can even see the little people are queuing for rides. <laughs> and last up, here's Sasha, who designed Castle Island. It has a Star Wars planet, Splash Island, TARDIS land, Transformers land and Jack's castle in the middle. <sighs> That's brilliant. All the sci-fi, all the good sci-fi there. Uh, you've been sending us videos of your rides too. We can't show them all. However, we've got a couple. Um, Paige and Faith, uh, they had a go at making a ghost cam with their favourite teddy. This is my ghost cam. You can find instructions on how to make your own ghost scope in yesterday's episode. Um, and next up, we have Elizabeth and Ridley. They created their own water ride with their daddy. Hello, Imagine Greg. Let's go live. This is a hot tub water drop. Now, and I'm the lifeguard. And we're going to put a passenger in. Whee! <laughs> I want to go. 
<laughs> Safety first as well. Lifeguard, very important job. Thank you for all your emails. Thank you so, so much. Uh, we'll show some more at the end of the episode. We yeah. were literally sent hundreds just yesterday of your great, uh, great bills. So thank you. But don't you stop designing. We love seeing them all. Right. Today we are going on to our next land, which is set in space. Mm. Um, here's our map at the moment, but we definitely need to fill it in, don't we? We need to fill in one of those gaps. Yeah, we're going to fill in the next blank. Um, there's a link in the description box of this video to these if you want to download one. Uh, the name of this next land is... Europa, Europa land. Base. Oh, Europa Base. Sarah. <laughs> I was like... Fail. Like, Fail. Euro Europa Base. Yeah, I was looking at the sound effects. <laughs> Each of our lands is themed around discovery, but has its own unique story and setting. Let's find out about the story behind Europa Base. Here <laughs> is our inspiration board. And here is our story. A group of astrophysicists, astronauts, astrobotanists and astrobiologists have all travelled to one of Jupiter's moons, Europa, and set up a space base. They've put up enormous biomes, domed places to live and are researching the planet. However, with less gravity than at home, blistering cold weather and an ocean covered with thick ice that can spurt out freezing cold jets of water at any given time, the new community of Europans face a lot of challenges. Ooh, Greg, that was very dramatic. Thanks. That was it. So... What's really cool is that Europa is actually is one of Jupiter's moons and it is thought to have a thick layer of ice covering possibly a liquid ocean. We're just imagining that there's a research base on it. Now, here's the thing, right? Before we talk about the rides mm. in Europa base, thank you, <laughs> uh, uh, rides are very important. But what's even more important is to quickly think about the fact that each land has a restaurant mm -hmm. uh, and a popular drink and snack. And here is uh, the popular drink and snack you find on Europa Base. This on, on the far left is, is uh, J-U-I-C-E, a.k.a. Juice. It's a fruity, icy, slushy drink. Mm. Um, those letters stand for something. We'll get to them in the quiz. And then you've got two types of moon meteorites. The sweet ones in the middle are chocolate rocky road flavour. The savoury ones on the right are cheese scones. Oh, I'd like a moon meteorite right, right now. I really, I really would. would. I really would. So you have heard about our next land, but what is yours going to be? What is the story behind it? What are the rides? What can you eat? Maybe you'll even add a show or a parade. Ooh. Whatever you want, it's your dreamland. Nice idea. Right, it's time for our first ride. Yes. Um, you better buckle up and keep your hands and your arms inside the vehicle because it's time for the loop the loop coaster that we call the Europa Clipper. Yeah. yeah. The Europa Clipper is a spacecraft that's been designed by the scientists at Europa Base to investigate their moon. Guests climb into the ride and pull down virtual reality VR headsets. So from now on, they see a virtual view of Europa. The Clipper and space. The ride starts with a fast rocket boost that fires them into orbit and they immediately go into a loop the loop as they circle the moon. Then the roller coaster plunges down as the guests break through the moon's frozen surface and they dive into the unexplored waters. But when this happens, they get better get a surprise and a jet of icy cold water blasts them in the face. Amazing. So it's a roller coaster, it's virtual reality, yeah. and it has special effects with water jets. And it is based on a real life scientific instrument. So the real Europa Clipper will be part of a future NASA mission that will place the spacecraft in orbit around Jupiter in order to take a detailed investigation of the moon. That is super cool. Yeah. Uh, we're on Earth though, so we're going to have to make do with making a roller coaster. Uh, we've actually been lucky enough to go on a couple mm. of brilliant roller coasters around the world, uh, including Python at mm -hmm. Efteling in the Netherlands. Shall we take a look? Yeah, here you go. Uh, next, we're going on this Python. Come on. Go on then. I love that it's just gravity that's doing that. So they pull you up to really high height, release the brakes, and then down you go. On tracks, obviously, but upside down four times.
are good <laughs> times. But what I want to know is how does a loop the loop roller coaster work? How is it you can be all the way upside down but be safe and not fall out? It is a brilliant, brilliant question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you may know that right now we're being pulled down to the centre of the planet by yeah. the Earth's gravity. And the only yes. thing that's stopping us being pulled right down to the middle of the planet is the floor or the ground. <laughs> Phew. Um, <laughs> but if you're on a roller coaster yeah. and you go, hang on, let's see if we can get loop cam. Oh, okay, I've got go on, it just it go. here for you. Oh, 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 there, oh. Have we got that? Oh. No. Looks like it's not. Hang on, hang on. Are we back on? We're back on. Cameras, Do we have comes. Luke? There oh, it oh. is. Hey. hey, we've got Luke. Cam. Okay, nice. cool. All right. So, okay. Uh, we're going to imagine this is our our train. That's mm -hmm. the bit that you sit in on a roller coaster. Right. As you go up, 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 up to the top, yeah. there's then no floor or ground underneath you. So, it's a really good question of why doesn't gravity just pull you right down? to the ground. Okay, so why not? Now, first, the wheels on that train, right, that's the name of the bit mm -hmm. that you sit on, uh, the wheels are actually kind of special. Let me Good. show you a picture <laughs> of them. The wheels are actually on both the top and the bottom of the track, right? right. They grip onto both sides. So even if the train stopped at the top of the track, it wouldn't fall off. Uh, it's kind of locking you in place. Plus you are strapped in to the train, right? So you're Got not going to go anywhere even if it did stop. Okay, all right then. But yeah. it keeps going, right? It doesn't just get to the top, it keeps on going. Okay, so the thing is, when we went on a Loop the Loop roller coaster, we didn't just make it to the top. Mm. Um, we did. We kept on going all the way around. But what's interesting is that it feels like you're being pushed back into your seat. I'm going to try to get this car, pretend yeah. it's our roller coaster train, round the Loop the Loop. Okay. Right, so uh, give me Loop Cam. Right, now, if I if I push it gently, Ooh. it doesn't it doesn't make it. No, no Push chance. it a bit harder. Nah, still doesn't make Ooh. it. But if I push it really hard... Go on. Oh, oh come Rick. on! Oh, oh no. no. Hang on, hang on. We hang have on, to say, so our, um, our roller coaster perhaps isn't the uh, best design. No. Um, Here we go. Right, ready? Yep. Yeah. 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 Woo! Got it. <laughs> right, if I push it fast enough, it gets enough speed, it gets enough momentum to yeah. make it all the way around the loop, the loop. And that's the key. You need enough speed, you need enough momentum. Now, that okay. speed here came from me pushing it really hard. So where would it normally come from? Normally it would come from the fact that you go up and up and up on a roller coaster. Right. right? And then you've got this big drop. See on the left hand side, you've got this big drop to pick up loads of speed for gravity to act. In that video of Python, you could hear the that's the sound of the roller coaster train being pulled right up to the top before you then do the drop into the loop. The loop. So quite a lot of them are slow like that. Some of them actually blast you up as ah, well, cool. which is super right, cool. Then. Right, so uh, if you have enough time for gravity to accelerate you to get enough speed, enough to get enough momentum, yeah. you can make it all the way up to the top and keep on going. Ah, okay. So actually it's the speed and the momentum that means um, you're going uphill on a roller coaster. Yeah. You, but you that you have to be higher than when you started, though. Is that right? No, uh, definitely not. You need to start higher, higher than where you end up. Got you. Yeah, because this whole like speed and momentum allows you to actually go up on a roller coaster like that. Okay. And the question is, why don't you just fall off at the top? Okay. And that's because things want to travel in straight lines. Give us loop cam. Okay, dokie. So when you get to the top here, the train actually just wants to keep travelling out in a straight line like that. Right, so but why doesn't it? The track essentially catches it and redirects it round. And the whole way round, it just wants to travel out straight, mm -hmm. but the track is redirecting it round. And that's what actually makes you feel like you're being pushed. It's ah. that redirection. Okay. Very cool physics. All right then. Very cool so physics. Greg actually knows all of this because he put his faith in physics, his faith in science, live on stage. Yes. Greg, what did you do? We made a bowling ball loop the loop. <laughs> yep. So the loop the loop to make a bowling ball go all the way round it. Yes. Yeah. And Greg sat in the middle of the bowling ball loop the loop. Yeah. Do you want to see it? <laughs> yeah, go on then. There you go. Right. Three, two, one, go.
Now, that is something you definitely should not try at home. No. <laughs> However, there is a type of loop the loop ride you could create at home, uh, but you do need a brave volunteer. <gasps> Who are we going to use? We need a brave, fearless volunteer. I don't know if you've noticed, but um, Dave has got dressed back up into his astro gear today. It's astro he is. Dave, definitely not the same as pirate Dave. I know, astro poor thing. Dave. All right. All right. So um, actually, his um, his astro suit isn't going to quite fit into this, <laughs> to this demonstration. That was quick. sorry, <laughs> sorry, Dave. Right. So All we're right. going to zoom the camera right out so you can see what's going on here. Here's something that you might be able to try at home if you've got a. Uh, if you've got a bucket, yep. ideally a bucket with a handle. So let's see if we can. Okay, here we oh, go. I've got two. Hang on, we don't want two oh, buckets. Oh, double buckets. That's confusing. There we go. Yep. Right. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah. Let's just really? go slowly first and see what happens. Slow first. Yeah, slow first. Okay. Right. So it's like we're gonna make it recreate like Ted is on a on a loop the loop. All right. Here you go, Ted. Yeah. See, just like with the car on the loop the loop track, um, if if Ted doesn't have enough speed, then gravity wins out, pulls him straight down. There's no yeah. bucket holding him in there. But instead, if we build up enough speed and momentum, Ted's going to want to go straight out, right? Just like with that train, that roller coaster train, and the bucket's going to catch him and bring him round. That's okay. the theory. All right, ready? Yes. Hey! Love it! Hi. It's all good, Ted. Don't worry about it. As long as you can keep the speed up. What do you do at the end? At the end? What do you like? You just uh, up. slow down. Very and then nice. He gets out of the ride. Very nice. And then he goes done. and does another thing over at Europa Base. Like, yeah. Now oh. Dave's really going through it this week. We're really he's... putting Dave through it. Yesterday he was a ghost, and now this. Right. Oh, zoom back you back in again. In again. Oh. Um, I wonder if he feels queasy because I know that we would. Oh gosh, we do. I will let you into a secret. We absolutely love theme parks and we love roller coasters, but if we do too many spinny rides then we actually feel really quite sick. Yes. We call it motion sickness. Yeah, we do feel a little queasy. Um, yeah. it's, it, what's going on is really interesting. Yeah, it's basically your brain is confused by what your ears, your eyes, and all of your other senses are picking up. Weirdly, it actually reacts as if it's been poisoned. Mm. And what's the best thing to do if you've been poisoned? Well, your body wants to make you throw up. Yeah, it wants to get rid of that poison. So that is why you feel sick. Thankfully, we've never actually been sick. No, we never get that ill. We just no. feel a bit queasy. But the way we yeah. get over it is we just take our time. We yeah. don't do, you know, big loopy, 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 loopy. We like do a loopy thing and then something gentle and then, <laughs> then a loopy thing yeah. and something gentle. That's the sensible way to yeah, do it. Yeah, absolutely. Right. I think we should take a little bit of a break. So you'd like sit back, relax mm -hmm. and um, find out a little bit more about the story behind Europa Base. Does that mean it's time for a quiz? And he can go flying. <laughs> nice. Okay, we have five questions for you. Five quiz questions about Europa Base. Do you want to start with the first one? Absolutely. Question number one. In the land Europa Base, you can order a J U I C E, a juice drink. But uh, juice is actually the name of a real European Space Agency mission, which sure is, is hopefully going to explore Jupiter and its three icy moons, Callisto, Ganymede, and Europa. Mm. But what do you think J-U-I-C-E stands for? Juice. Okay, I'm going to take J and U together and go, jump in the car, Ed. No, not or, quite, not quite. Just in case eat. I think you've got to think a little bit more spacey. Wait. Is that not? Oh, spacey. No, not right. What, what would... No idea. Give us the answer. Okay. All right. So here you go. It stands for Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer. And here are some pictures of it. It's, it's a work in progress. These are some of the models, some of the designs. So cool, right? Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer. Very cool. Question now, number two. Question number two. Um, there are lots of scientists working on Europa Base, uh, but do you know what a real life astrogeologist studies? Mm. Here's an image that an astrogeologist uh, has made of uh, Earth's moon. So geologists study earthquakes and floods and volcanic eruptions, right? right. They, they study the structure of a planet, normally on Earth, but astrogeologists discover and uh, study the, the structure of a moon or another planet. Or space rocks. Space rocks. <laughs> Basically. How cool is really that? Really cool. All right then, question three is about roller coasters. Mm. So we know already that some coasters launch you at the beginning to get you high up really quickly. 
but how fast is the fastest roller coaster launch? Okay. Okay. Is it A, 67 miles per hour, B, 85 miles per hour, imagine, or C, 149 miles per hour? I know this one. Go on then, what is it? I'm going to, because I'm going to share a picture of it. Okay. Right. The answer is uh, 149 miles per hour. Yeah. Right. And here is a picture of it. No, this is... <laughs> that's the moon. <laughs> there it is. This is the world's fastest roller coaster, coaster called Formula Rossa. It's in Abu Dhabi. The launch system shoots the train from naught to 149.1 miles per hour in just four seconds. And it's over 20 miles per hour um, faster than any other roller coaster in the world right now. Crikey. All right, question number four. Uh, The Europans set up their base inside biomes, giant biomes. They look Mm -hmm. like this. But where do you find these biomes in the UK? Hmm, Does anyone know where these are? The answer is... It's the Eden Project in Cornwall. I love the Eden Project. Great place. Yeah, yeah, a really awesome place. With plants and different habitats and environments. Very, very cool. Right. Last, last question. Question number five. Europa Base is inspired by one of Jupiter's many moons. But how many moons do we think Jupiter has? Hmm. Do you, is it A, nine? Wow, so remember, we have just one moon here. Uh, B, 79. Or C, 109. The answer mm-hmm. is 79. Yeah. How they are, are these... the known moons, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So astronomers sometimes spot what they think is a new moon, but they all have to discuss and decide if it is. So that number, 79, it, it might change. Mm. Uh, but Europa is one of the four of Jupiter's four largest moons. And together, they are known as the Galilean moons. And that has inspired our next ride. Yeah, now we know a bit about the mm-hmm. story and about the science of Europa base. Uh, let's move on to the next ride. And uh, we've got a couple of makes for you nice. to try at home. Now, Maddie, why don't you introduce us? Hang on, let me get ready with my picture. Okay. Introduce us to the Galilean orbiters. Okay, all right then. The Galilean orbiters are a type of swinging chair ride inspired by Galileo, the orbiter which studied Jupiter and its mysterious moons. Galileo orbited Jupiter 34 times. The ride starts on the ground when the guests Wait a second. Galileo orbited Jupiter 34 times. So just like the real orbiter, our swinging chairs will swing around the central tower 34 times. The ride starts on the ground. When the guests are in their seats, we have lift off. off. They'll rise up high in the air and start to spin before slowly coming down back down to the ground. Now, swinging chairs are a classic ride at theme parks and at fairgrounds, yes. right? And sadly, we don't have one in the back garden. No. Such a but shame. we can show you how to make your own. Yeah, yeah of go. course you can. Here's the first craft. So take a look at this one. Whee! <laughs> This is our own swinging chair ride, which we made with a reusable bottle and some recycling. Woo! Here is how to make it. To make your own swinging chair ride, you could use some craft materials, a bottle, a paper plate, yogurt pots, a toilet roll, string, some kind of pointy tool, a sharp pencil could work, glue and scissors. Take the toilet roll and carefully cut some slits around one end. Fold these over so they make little flaps. Put some glue on the flaps and stick the toilet roll to the centre of the paper plate. You can slide this over the top of the bottle and this will make the centre of the ride. Next, get a yoghurt pot and decorate it however you like. Ask a grown-up to help you make a small hole near the top of the yoghurt pot and make another hole on the opposite side. Push a length of string through the two holes and tie them in a knot. Now you have a swinging chair. With a bit of glue or sticky tape, stick this to the underside of the paper plate. We made six swinging yoghurt pots and found it easier to stick them on with the plate flat on the table. Lift the plate back onto the bottle and your ride is ready. Tweak your design till you're happy with it. We took one yoghurt pot away and thought it worked a little better. Spin the bottle and watch the chairs fly out at the sides. Have fun! Woohoo! Like this! There we go. It works better off the table. Yeah, it does actually, doesn't it? Wow, look at that. So good. Um, (laughs) This is a fantastic make, but here's the thing. 
We came up with another idea that lets you be part of the ride. Yeah,、um, this time we invited a few mini friends to jump on the ride and have a go.、Uh, and our Let's Go Live editor Ed has done a great little video and a special voiceover for us. Yeah, here is our next video. It's an advert for the Galilean orbiters. Coming soon to Europa Base at Discovery World, it's the Galilean orbiters. Hop into one of the spacecraft and swing through the cosmos. Who's riding today? Oh, would you look at that! We've got little Ted, Princess Otter, Mr. Hedgehog, Minnie, Maddie, and Greg, deep sea diver dude with his buddy Octopus, Sally Ride and May Jemison, Shakespeare and Panda Guy. Oh, and don't forget Colin and his pal. Please keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle. Because we have lift off, up, up and away, and round and round we go. Feel the breeze in your face as you experience life above Europa Base. The faster it spins, the further out you fly. Doesn't Princess Otter look like she's having a fantastic time? It's almost time for landing, folks. What a ride! The Galilean orbiters. It can only happen at Discovery World. Experience it soon. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much, Ed. He did a brilliant job with that. Oh, that's awesome! It really made us giggle. Princess Otter, so funny.、Um, the best part of these、yes. rides, though, is how far out the chairs actually、yeah. spin. Yeah. Should we do a selfie and then tell tell them all about it? Sure.、Okay. Yeah. All, all right. right then. Hang on. So we're going to quickly do a selfie. Wee! Okay. Okay. I, hang on. Do, yeah. Let's do that. Let's see if we can peer through the loop. That's the loop. So good. I'm going to keep、okay. this moving. All right.、One. Here we go. Two, three. It's the, the awkward, awkward selfie. selfie. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, nice! Trying really hard not to get smacked in the face by、uh, my own swinging chair right here.、Uh, But... Please do share that with us on Twitter and Instagram. Use hashtag Let's Go Live. All right, let's talk about the science. Yeah, how do they work? So, as you said, the best thing is that you swing out really, really far. But why does that happen?、Um, just like with the roller coaster, and just like with Astro Dave in the spinning bucket,、yeah. right?、Um, It's all about the fact that objects want to travel in straight lines. Now, what's different though is that rather than spinning that way, like we've been doing before,、mm -hmm. we're now spinning stuff that way,、yes. right? Like yeah, on、you. the flat. Uh huh. Nice. So the chairs they want to keep travelling outwards. If I'm managing my hands, a chair they want to keep travelling outwards, but the chain is stopping them from flying off. And then also the whole thing is spinning round like that as well. I was worried about your elbow then. <laughs>、uh, and the faster they spin, the faster the whole thing spins,、mm -hmm. the more they want to fly out. So、yeah. what happens is the faster it goes, the more they rise up. And up and up, yeah. And that's what creates some very, again, very neat physics going、yeah. on in theme parks. So that does bring us to the end of today's show. We really hope you've enjoyed discovering the second of our four lands at Discovery World. Why don't we put Europa Base on the map? Let's、yes. see it. Okay, here it is. This is amazing. You ready? Yeah. Look、oh, at that. Love it. You can see the biome. You can see the orbiter ride as well. Awesome! That is so so cool. And、um, before we go, though, we want to see some more of your water rides, some more of your ghost scopes, some more of your theme park designs that、yeah. you sent us yesterday. Okay, so let's meet Rafe. So Rafe actually has a sloping garden, but he did lots of problem solving to fix this and make his rapids float round and round. Uh, next up, you've got Maisie, who designed a theme park called Splashtacular.、Yeah. You've got Planet Pop with bobbing planets. Um, that you have to get across in Rocket Racer, you fly around in a rocket. Then you've got Make Some Noise area with giant xylophones that squirt water if you press the wrong key. And you've got the <laughs> Catalan roller coaster. You get chased by a giant ball of wool that wobbles the car and splashes you. So imaginative.、Uh, Charlotte built a Lego roller coaster which has a jungle zone, space zone, and a water park. Holly designed her own theme park, complete with nature reserve and a Let's Go Live area filled with a hundred Maddies, a technology <laughs> area where you can design your own car, an animal funland with lots of rides. Finn and Holly created this dinosaur island foil rapids with loads of mini dinosaurs and mini boats. Nice.、Uh, and last picture, Alice made a car for her roller coaster for cats. <laughs> She's called it. The kitty coaster. Oh, I wonder if Alice actually has a cat that's going to go in there. I wonder.、Um, a couple more videos as well. So first up, this is Max. He made a pirate carousel out of Lego. Hi, Maddie and Greg, and this is my and、um, this is my carousel that I made, and、um, and and I've even done、um, a crab hiding under a palm tree, and、um, and.
Um, and I've even done a crab pinching a pirate. Jack was uh, very, very creative, and Jack made this whirlpool for his pirate ship. Look at this. Hi, Mandy and Greg. This is our pirate ship, and this is our whirlpool. Very Did you cool. see that? I was spinning round and round and round and round and round. Very cool. I would not want to go on that one at all. Um, and last but not least, we've got a video from Shivani who sent us in a description of her theme park. This is my map of Magic Park. In Magic Park, there is a fairy garden, fairy f food zone, unicorn play area and a talking animal zone. That's a really good place for us to finish, actually, because tomorrow we're going to be introducing you to our enchanted woods, which do have a couple of fairies. Um, if you do want to ask, uh, send in any of your photos or videos, please ask a grown-up to email us at hello let's go live at gmail.com and they could appear in tomorrow's show. Ooh. That's it for today's episode about Europa. Yeah. Uh, that's it for loop the loops and spinning chairs. That was a lot of fun. Mm, so we've already let you know tomorrow is our, our enchanted woods. Uh, <gasps> can we give them any? More teasers. It has an enormous play area in the trees. Oh yeah, yeah it does. Um, let's see if anyone is with us in the live chat. Loads of you are. Oh crikey, right we've got Liam from Hinkley. Darcy from Stourbridge. Peter in Lisbon. John and Elias in Shaftesbury. Eva in Lancashire. Nikki in Boston. Henry from Chelmsford. Peter and Lucy in Cambridge. Tony and Isolde in Preston. Uh, Ellie Rose in Derby. Ella in Aberdeen. And Claudia in London. And Hi. hello to all the rest of you watching live and of course all of you watching back later on. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it already. And as always, stay curious. We'll see you tomorrow at 11. Bye-bye.